And there is a major historic labor rights news in the United States as the U.S. Supreme Court has finally handed down a long-expected opinion likely to financially decimate public sector unions and place their long-term survival in real doubt. The 5-4 to four ruling in the case Janus versus AFSCME effectively bars public sector unions from collecting so-called agency fees or fair share fees. These are fees unions are currently allowed to charge workers who the union represents in collective bargaining and who receive benefits from the contracts the union negotiates, but are not union members. As the New York Times was reported, the ruling is a result of a long-term effort by right-wing political moguls. Most specifically, Richard Oliam, founder of Uline Shipping Company, is the primary donor to the Liberty Justice Center, which pursued the plaintiff's case. In her dissent, Justice Elena Kagan criticized the ruling's foundation in an expansive interpretation of the First Amendment. For that reason, labor law experts say Janus could be cited to challenge almost any other labor rights law. As we reported yesterday, the U.S. Supreme Court has issued a ruling that American Express vendors may not encourage their customers to favor competing credit cards using discounts and promotions. The case, Ohio vs. American Express, could have major consequences for retail and perhaps others. Here to break it down is the CEO of Stock Swoosh, Melissa Armo. Melissa, thanks for always being with us. We really appreciate it. Uh, let's start with the, uh, the lay of the land. American Express charges higher fees. I mean, most of us know that, that those, those swipe fees. And their vendors, oh, they hate that. They hate that a lot. Uh, and, and so the, uh, the, the companies out there are now, you know, in this sort of battle, sort of a credit card, you know, war. First of all, why does American Express Express, you know, charge a higher rate than some of the other credit card companies. Do they have a, a different business model, Melissa? They do have a different business model, but it's mainly based on exclusivity. They're trying to cater and say American Express is special. You get all these rewards if you open up a car with American Express. You have to have a higher credit rating if you're able to get a car with American Express. Some American Express cards actually are charge cards. They're not credit cards where you have an unlimited line. So American Express, their, their gearing towards consumers was special, special, special. I'm, I'm sure maybe you've heard of the black American Express card, too. So it's very different from MasterCard, Visa, or Discover. So that's trying to get consumers. As far as merchants go, as you know, I own my own company. I accept American Express, and I guess I pay a higher fee. Now, why do merchants pay a higher fee with American Express? Because one of the biggest reasons that all of these credit card companies charge fees to merchants like me to run clients' transactions, for example, if you came to me as a client, the reason is because of fraud. The reason is fraud. One of the reasons that the, the, all of these fees are so high, and the difference is vaguely only a about 1%. So for example, if you come and you you have a transaction that costs $10,000, your fee is going to be 3%, which is $300, which the merchant, which is me, which will pay. If you go to Visa, it could be around 2%, which is $200. It's not an extraordinary amount of difference, to be honest with you. If I'm a merchant, and I, and I am, and I want you to come to me as a client, then I'm going to accept American Express. Or as a merchant, I can say, I don't want to pay American Express's fees. But then I'm limiting myself to the people that will come to me, because some people love American Express. And one of the reasons is they like the rewards, they like the service. American Express gives special service, supposedly, to their clients. And so they have a different business model. It's about service, 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 and all these special rewards and things. So it's very different from even some a company like Discover, for example, too. But the fees are there because of fraud. That's the reason that credit card fees are so high. And by the way, that is also why we pay so much interest. If you don't pay your credit card off in full by the end of the month, you pay interest. That interest rate could be 5%, 10%, 20%, 30%. And the reason, again, is fraud as well, besides the fact you're borrowing the money. So that's why everyone pays interest rates with cards. And you can go to American Express, and you're going to pay a different interest rate than you would with Visa or MasterCard. And a lot of that is set by the banks based on your credit score and things like that. So people can go where they want. This case, to me, I, I'm really not surprised, to be honest with you, by the decision. I, I Even though I'm a merchant, and I pay American Express fees, I think it's a proper decision for consumers. And, 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 and it just is what it is. This is the banking environment. It's a free market. Uh, let me uh, ask, because we only have a little bit of time left, but what, uh, how might this really impact Silicon Valley and, and the tech sector? That wasn't something that immediately stuck out when we first uh, looked at this news. 
I don't think it's going to affect it at all. I did read some articles where they were they were talking about it because there's been a lot of scrutiny about what's happened in tech in the last six to 12 months. And I don't think the scrutiny with tech is over, especially with the privacy concerns with Facebook. That, but that's completely different than what's happening here. Even though they take money for advertising and even though they have uh, people's information, that's more about privacy, not necessarily about fees or consumer banking laws. So it's very different to me. I know that people are saying it's similar and this is good for tech as far as a decision goes, but I think the scrutiny is going to stay on top of tech. I think Congress may look at that at some point in the future because of the privacy rulings, not necessarily about uh, as far as a free market. And again, this decision was for a free market, and I think that's good. That's good for capitalism if you, if you live in the United States of America. Uh, uh, Melissa, we thank you for being with us. Uh, I, I can vouch for the American Express customer service. It's great. And I did see that uh, <laughs> black card one time when you showed it to me. Melissa Armo, the CEO of the Stock Swoosh. Thanks, Melissa. I appreciate your time. Thanks. Thanks.